Someday you will find the old master of our niece. How will I uh, find him? He must be a very old man now. For he was old uh, when he taught me. Legend has it that he is uh, centuries old. And he cannot find eternal rest until he has found a worthy successor. No one knows where the old master is now, but uh, if you are of a noble spirit, and your heart is in the right place, fate will lead you to him. It belongs to him. The, the old master? He has the other half. You think I'll ever find him? If you wear this at all times, he will find you. for our usual visit. Buenas, senora. Maria, go get the money. Don't take it so hard, senor Alan. This tax money is going for a good cause. I, I suppose your father's pocket is considered a good cause. India. 
How dare you insult our father? The governor! There is no need to strike my son. Go out of there! No! Ben! I hope you burn in hell forever. Eat your ransom. There is no sense in getting so heated up, senor. This could be worse, you know?
Imperial Governor for acts of treason, murder, rape, and talk of revolution against the state. The court has found this outlaw guilty. This 
is the bad one. He gets no food on this ship. We're still two or three days away from the Islas Marianas. What is the storm come, Captain? They will be helpful. But watch them. Use the whip for the bad ones. What about this one, Captain? Lucky for him. The governor's dying. He did not know this stinking animal is alive. Or he would have had him put to death. Take a scene. Take a be done. Before you run into a storm, make sure you give him a good taste of the sword. No matter what happens, never be frightened. For God is always with you. Why remove the irons? It's a big storm. Captain's order. Fresh water. Mm. Hurry! Look, he's alive. Yes, he's alive. I wonder who <coughs> he is. Let's 
bring him to the hut. Well, I... In my hut, I am Lenny. What is your name? Ben. Why be so concerned about looks? When you're only half a man. Father, he has arrived. Excellency, the Japanese samurai, Senor Mori. Just the art of using these samurai swords. Oh, I prayed to be at your service. Honorable Excellency. Mmm, dear Haley. I wonder if these could be faster than our swords. Antonio, why don't you try them out with Senor Mori here? My pride, Father. He didn't even scratch me. Allow me. I see you're well, Ben. I owe someone. Not me. It was the old man's medicine. Old man? He should be around somewhere. For a blind man, he sees more than us. I wonder where he is. Lenny! 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 
I'll be back. How's Ben? You are looking for me? You are the stranger. Your medicine? Old man? It was the arm of fate that guided me in choosing the right herbs for you. Come. You have been in a shipwreck. Your fingers uh, are your eyes. Your eye born. You have an honest face, yet you were a prisoner. What was your crime? A personal matter, perhaps. I hope that we shall become friends someday. Someday. Now then, Ben, isn't it? A name, just like any other. People talk. It's not every day that we have a stranger washed ashore on our island. What is it, old man? I detect hatred in your voice. I hope you learn to forget. I want to remember. <laughs> Excellencia. was shipwrecked. we expect to find on these islands? Information. Perhaps some of the natives have seen the shipwreck. Besides, the crew says there are beautiful girls on this island. Well, we take no chances. Let's put a shot up into the trees. Fuego! Be careful! Those natives may not be friendly. Don't worry about us, Captain. Just be ready to open fire when I give the signal. <laughs> Indios! Put down those stupid sticks! Do not resist! Easy. No, don't! Come, my son. Your revenge will be another day. They have taken over the town and have been inquiring about a shipwreck. Bungo! Have you won the women? Where's Ligaya? Isn't she here?
Dance well. Let's make them dance. Thank <laughs> you. 
survive this shipwreck after all. Yes. But this time, we'll get him for sure! Indio! Will you surrender peacefully, or do we have to come after you? Get him! My father, the governor, expects us back in three weeks. If we do not return, he will send ten galleons and sink this island beneath the sea. You have no choice but to let us go, and we will not attack this island again. Go! Where is his head? Where is his head? We do not have it. Where is his head? We were, we were going to kill him, father. But that Indio ran away like a coward. Our soldiers could not catch him. Can I go with you? I can't get it. Try it. How? Oh, it's because you're a girl. Oh! Morning. Oh, man. Good morning. I brought you more herb. Thank you. Let me take these back. Your herbs are good. I'm glad you're feeling better. Where did you get this? It is no concern of yours, old man. You killed for it! <laughs> Sorry, old man. I don't like choking. Oh, 
You idiots! Let them steal our well in place. Load him up! Load him up! Our new cannons have reinforced barrels to withstand the bigger powder charge. Can't they do the same with their cannons? No, no. Their cannons cannot withstand the powder charge to reach our range. Their cannons will explode in their faces. Fight <laughs> <laughs> number one! <laughs> Not bad. Five. Hurry. Ready? Ready, sir. Five. <laughs> now those fools are trying to load a bigger charge. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody hurt? Nothing serious. They're out of range. We are ready to fire, Excellencia. Very well. They have us outgunned. Bungo, raise the white flag. Indio, no tricks. Do not be afraid. We are not going to harm you. We come. For you! One request. What is that? Like the last time, I asked the same terms. A duel? I will fight your best man. Where's your man? Ready? To death! 
going to live today. Please. Nevertheless, it would be better to finish him off right now. to take him for last religious rites, so that he may die in peace and his spirit may find eternal rest. It will be more merciful to kill him right now. I offer a gift for his body. Tricked the Spaniards. He had a chicken snack. 
hidden in his pocket. How is Ben? going on on the island. It is a funeral for that rotten Indio. When did he die? Last night. The old man is dead. He's dead. Can't be. The scriptures were not written with his ending. I must be alone. Ben, your wounds are of the skin, not of the heart. And your fate has but probed the future. You must live. The gods have given you this medallion for yours as a purpose, a destiny. You must live. Live. Live and fulfill as others have before you. Live! Open your eyes and live! 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 since the night you recovered. Ben, where have you been? Preparing for you. Preparing? I want you to come with me to the sacred hills where the air is fresh and the water is pure. I will teach you the art of fighting with the sixth sense. Sixth sense? Rest now. We leave at daybreak.
Rest well. Get used to your surroundings, for this will be your home for the next two years. Too long for you? I have time. You seem skeptical. What is it, Ben? Are you blind? Yes. Yet, you see. I can see. A blind man who can see? When you learn what I have to teach you, you will know that blindness is but a position of the mind. How did it go today? I'm getting it. Yes. You are neither winded nor tired. Tomorrow, you will begin your next lesson. Peace of mind. If it involves your stamina, I've got it. You will learn a different kind of stamina, stamina of the mind. You will sit and meditate from sunrise to sunset and beyond. You will detach mind from body. You will strengthen your will so that what the mind commands, the body obeys. You will discipline yourself until your heart is pure and your spirit is free. Then and only then will you receive inner knowledge and attain the ultimate in true peace of mind. Shut out the light from your eyes. Close your eyes. In a short period of time, the skin will dry, sealing your eyes from all light. It will feel uncomfortable at first, but after a while, it will feel almost like a part of you. What now? You will live in this valley until you learn to walk with confidence.
Your training is over. It is time to remove the blindfold. And I... I tried. Can you open them? Going back to the village tomorrow, Ben. What are your plans? I must go back to my father's farm. Very well. If you must, do it properly. You will go back as sole owner of that island, and you will buy the other islands that are paying tribute to the Queen of Spain. Buy? Those islands? It's time to turn over the spoils of a wanting lifetime to my worthy successor. Years and years of shipwreck. It's all yours. I'll meet you tomorrow to complete the arrangement. Two years. A short time to learn how to see. So you want to send me as your personal emissary to Queen Isabella? How do we pay Her Majesty if she agrees? Freedom. It's time for my Jaco lesson, Father. With your permission. Let me see what you learn. Continue with that movement, and tomorrow I will teach you a new one. This is my son, Kin. How do you do, sir? You are good. Thank you, sir. Continue with your practice. You have trusted me with such a fortune. What if I decided not to return? You will. When do you expect Sang to get back? In six months' time. He must be in Spain now. Ben! Ben! The old man sent for you. Hurry! What's wrong? I am finally being blessed by eternal rest. I go contented, for you are indeed a worthy successor. Ben, Ben, remember what you have learned. The steel of the Spaniards will soon be upon you. You will need a pair of Arnis sticks that can withstand 
the sharpest sword. You must find the iron reed. Iron reed? On the volcano beyond our valley grows a reed that is nurtured by the flow of lava. The wood is stronger than any known metal. How? How do I get it? You must find it. The reed will protect you from all enemies.
mission is completed. How? Most successful. Does anyone know anything about this autumn? Maybe it is a trick. All we know is what the advance emissary has said. He comes with word from the queen. He travels in a royal galley. <laughs> and all the silly women are out to win his hand. See, the sultan. His royal highness, the sultan. <laughs> I bid you our most gracious welcome. Excellencia, allow me to present to you gifts for you and your sons. Prepare the most magnificent toast for your pleasure. Well, Your Highness, what tidings do you bear? A message. From Isabella. Ah. You bought seven of the islands. They are to be separate protectorates. How can I be of service to your eminence? I will let you know. In the meantime, let us rejoin the banquet. An unmarried sultan must not disappoint the ladies. Ah, Morisan, please escort the sultan to the ballroom. Successor? Come in. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Highness. We thought you'd be ready for dinner. No, please. Please be seated. My apologies, senores. I have to shave my beard. Hope you don't mind. Not at all, Your Highness. That's a pity. It must have taken you months to grow that beard. Sometimes a beard hides one's true character. Now. Don't you think so? This turban suffocates me. The Indio. Yes, Miguel. The Indio back from the dead. But not for long. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lenny? Queen Isabella's men have arrived. Perhaps the new governor will be different. About that successor. 